To find out more on the implications of the nuclear emergency in Japan, Euronews has been speaking to Jean-Mathieu Rombach. He's from the Institute of Radio Protection and Nuclear Security. From what we understand, there's been an explosion of a hydrogen type concentrated in the metal chamber above the reactor's core. The nuclear core is intact, and that is the big difference compared to Chernobyl. So what level of risk are we looking at? There is a risk of core fusion. So now we're in a cooling down phase of the core, which has a very low level of nuclear activity, whereas in Chernobyl, the explosion took place when the core was fully powered. Are we facing disaster on a global scale? Uh, we're facing a major accident on the same scale, potentially, as Chernobyl. For the moment, there are still worrying factors, like the production of hydrogen. On the other hand, the positive thing is that the confinement chamber is still up and running. So we've had this explosion in one reactor, but is there the possibility of the same problem with another reactor? There is another reactor with the same problem, we think, but we do not have much information as yet, although we are trying. Has there been any information coming from the Japanese authorities? No, there hasn't. Do you know why? No, hopefully it's because there's not a lot of information to give. More pessimistically, they could be hiding something, but I don't think that that's the case. Does stopping the four power plants risk seriously affecting the production of electricity in Japan over a long period of time? Yes, for some years they'll be facing difficulties.